Nina Fosch, born Nina Consuelo Maud Falk, April 20, 1924, December 5, 2008, was a Dutch-born American actress and director who later became an instructor in both subjects. Her career spanned six decades, consisting of over 50 feature films and over 100 television appearances. She was the recipient of numerous accolades, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, and a National Board of Review Award for Best Supporting Actress. Fosh established herself as a dramatic actress in the late 1940s, often playing cool, aloof sophisticates. Born in Leiden, Netherlands, Fosh immigrated to the United States with her mother while still a toddler, and was raised in New York City. After signing a contract with Columbia Pictures at age 19, Fosh became a regular in the studio's horror pictures and films noir, starring in such films as The Return of the Vampire, 1943, Escape in the Fog, and My Name is Julia Ross, 1945. She concurrently embarked on a stage career, making her Broadway debut as the titular Mary in 1947's John Loves Mary. She subsequently starred in several Broadway productions of William Shakespeare's plays, including Twelfth Night, 1949, King Lear, 1950, and Measure for Measure, 1955. Fosh would gain widespread notice for her role as Milo Roberts in the musical film An American in Paris, 1951, Robert Wise's drama Executive Suite, 1954, which earned her the Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments, 1956, and Stanley Kubrick's Spartacus, 1960. In 1967, she made her theatrical directorial debut with a Broadway production of Ways and Means, a comedy by Noel Coward. Fosh also worked extensively in television beginning in the 1950s, with notable roles including the victim in the first of Peter Falk's Columbo films in 1968, as well as guest starring parts in The Wild Wild West, 1969, The FBI, 1970, and Hawaii Five-O, 1973. In 1980, she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress for her guest role on an episode of Lou Grant. Beginning in the 1960s, Fosh began a concurrent career as an educator, teaching courses in drama and film directing at the American Film Institute and at the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts, where she was a faculty member for over 40 years. Among her students were directors Randall Kleiser, Edward Zwick, and Amy Heckerling, and performer Julie Andrews. Fosh continued to teach until the end of her life, up until her death in December 2008 of myelodysplastic syndrome. After signing a contract with Columbia Pictures at age 19, Fosh made her feature film debut in the studio's horror picture The Return of the Vampire, 1943, with Bela Lugosi, subsequently appearing in Columbia's Cry of the Werewolf the next year. This was followed with a role in the biopic A Song to Remember, 1945, the drama I Love a Mystery, 1945, and a string of films noir, including Escape in the Fog, 1945, in which she starred as a woman who has a premonition of her kidnapping. The same year, she had the titular role in My Name is Julia Ross, a mystery about a woman who, after taking a new job working as a caretaker in a rural home, awakens one morning to find herself in a new location and with a different identity. Next, Fosh appeared in Johnny O'Clock, 1947, The Dark Past, 1948, The Undercover Man, 1948, and Johnny Allegro, 1949. During this time, she was also a regular in John Houseman's CBS Playhouse 90 television series. Fosh made her Broadway debut in the 1947 production of John Loves Mary, playing the titular Mary. She subsequently starred in Stratford and Broadway productions of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, 1949, and King Lear, 1950. In 1951, Fosh appeared with Jean Kelly in the musical An American in Paris, which was awarded the Best Picture, Oscar, that year. Fosh also appeared in Scaramouche, 1952, as Marie Antoinette. She returned to theater in 1955, appearing in an off-Broadway production of Measure for Measure, followed by The Taming of the Shrew. Next, Fosh starred Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments, 1956, as Bithia, the Pharaoh's daughter, who finds the infant Moses in the bulrushes, adopts him as her son, and joins him and the Hebrews in their exodus from Egypt. In 1957, 
Fosh was honored by the Maryland State Council of the American Jewish Congress with a special award for her performance in the Ten Commandments. Fosh as Bithiah in the Ten Commandments, 1956. Fosh received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role as a secretary in the boardroom drama Executive Suite, 1954, starring William Holden, Frederick March, and Barbara Stanwyck. The same year Executive Suite was released, Fosh married her first husband, actor James Lipton, their marriage spanned five years before ending in divorce in 1959. The same year, she married television writer Dennis DeBrito, with whom she gave birth to one son, Dirk. In Spartacus, 1960, starring Kirk Douglas and Laurence Olivier, she played a woman who chooses gladiators to fight to the death in the ring simply for her entertainment. In 1961, she guest starred in the NBC series about the family divisions from American Civil War entitled The Americans. In 1963, she appeared on the NBC game show Your First Impression. In 1964, she played the title role in the episode Maggie, Queen of the Jungle of Craig Stevens's short-lived CBS drama series, Mr. Broadway. Also in 1964, Fosh divorced her second husband, DeBrito. Fosh was next cast as Eva Frazier in the Outer Limits episode The Borderland. She appeared in an episode of Gunsmoke as the widowed matriarch of a lawless town, and played in an episode on combat. Titled Episode The Casket. In 1967, Fosh married her third husband, Michael Daywell in 1967. Also beginning in the 1960s, Fosh began working as an instructor, teaching directing the actor classes at the School of Cinematic Arts at the University of Southern California, USC, as well as at the American Film Institute. She was subsequently cast as the first murder victim of the Columbo Mystery series starring Peter Falk, appearing in the pilot movie, Prescription, Murder, 1968, with Jean Barry as her husband, a homicidal psychiatrist. In the early 1970s, she guest starred on ABC's That Girl in the Fifth Season episode, That Script, and NBC's The Brian Keats Show. In 1975, she appeared in the film Mahogany, starring Diana Ross, and subsequently supporting roles in the horror film Jennifer and the Walt Disney supernatural television film Child of Glass, both released in 1978. In 1980, Fosh was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress for her guest role on an episode of Lou Grant. Fosh died on December 5, 2008, aged 84, at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. Her only son, Dirk DeBrito, told the Los Angeles Times that she died of complications from the blood disorder myelodysplasia. She had become ill the day before while teaching her course at USC. Fosh was cremated by the Neptune Society of Sherman Oaks, California, and her ashes were placed in the custody of her son.